Mishka and Della for Lucy. I'm so excited. We met in New York. I went to their showroom. It was really one of the highlights of my New York Fashion Week because they were so nice and just made me feel so comfortable. It was just so chill and we just hit it off. So at the end, they proposed to shoot me for their fall winter campaign. So they came to Montreal and I'm about to go meet with them. They sent me the inspo. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Let's go. same thing as last time we talked it is currently 12 and i'm gonna head to school i don't really go to my classes in person anymore i don't really like it but i still like going on campus to work sometimes this week next week is pretty packed for me so I got up pretty early i've been reading i've been writing i've been watching stuff it's a lot but anyway, I'm gonna go get food, I think, and then probably go to the library. I have a whole essay that I really need to like write out the whole draft of. I have kind of a draft of the main ideas I wanna talk about in every paragraph, but I need to get more into it. It's for my American literature class of the 21st century. It's the same teacher I had for my other literature class last year, last fall. He's incredible. So I'm gonna be writing about a passage from zone one. It's a close reading. So you choose a passage, make a thesis based off the elements that you see in the passage. What's cool about zone one is it's like a comical approach to a very drab and depressing subject, which I really like. In that class, we've read The Road by Cormac McCarthy, which is a post-apocalyptic novel about a boy and his father and them just basically trying to survive in a world that is depressing where people have just lost their humanity and just like nothing left i don't know it's really depressing but it was really 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 good then we read zone one by colson whitehead so as you might know i read his first novel the intuitionist in my class last year i really didn't like it i had a hard time first of all getting through it his style is extremely dense i just didn't like it i didn't like the metaphor i didn't like the story it just didn't really captivate me whatsoever sometimes it's like that i know a lot of people loved it but it just wasn't for me so when i saw we were reading him again i was kind of skeptical but i really enjoyed this one another post-apocalyptic book about a guy surviving the apocalypse zombies there were parts where i was reading and i was like oh my god i can't get through this because i would have to read every page twice because like i said his style is so dense he uses really complicated words to explain very simple things and it's just a lot but in retrospect it's a very good book and the ending I really really liked and then we read Homegoing by Yag Yazi. So far, this is my favorite. The other classes I'm taking this semester have media and culture, indigenous literature and film. I've watched Indian Horse and I'm writing my midterm paper on it, talking about intergenerational trauma and residential schools. I am also in religion and cinema in India. I was kind of scared to take this class at first because I didn't know anything about Indian culture. I feel like I had a very limit, like, very limited knowledge honestly yeah, i just didn't know anything and so i was kind of scared that i would be the only one who didn't know anything and that it would be really difficult for me to like catch up because a lot of people taking the class are studying in south asian studies and i had never i've never really studied that before but i'm so glad that i stayed in the class because i have already learned so much and it's so interesting and i love that we're studying india in relation to cinema it just gives you a different perspective on it and it just makes it a lot more fun to learn about because movies are just so fun so interesting i didn't realize how heterogeneous india was when it comes to religion language i'm actually writing my essay on charulata because i just liked how it was like one of the first films Films where the woman is the main character and she's portrayed as a like strong figure a smart figure I don't know if she has this aura 
about her that I like and it's kind of modern I feel like I want to do a feminist kind of reading of that and then the last class I'm taking is intro to comms I decided this year that I'm gonna minor in comms and so far I really like the class I love the teacher he's great but also the topics are very much linked to cultural studies which is my major so obviously I'm very interested in that we're studying like Stuart Hall Ruha Benjamin Crawford and Joel are all about like AI and encoding decoding messages so I find it very interesting so now I need to go get my opus build and go to school I was at the library yesterday. I had a really, really, really busy work day and I'm exhausted. Right now I'm actually headed back to the library. I'm gonna try to finish and finalize my essay for my American literature class. And then I have two classes today, so I'm gonna watch the recordings for those. And then, yeah, I have like other work due next week that I wanna get started on. But yeah, hopefully I get a lot done. I had a period where I was like anti-lib library. It made me really depressed to go there, so I would just stay at home. And then I just would go to school twice a week for my, or yeah, twice a week for my classes. Everything else was recorded, so I would just watch it at home. So I just never really left my house. That was like a good two weeks. But now I'm getting more into the groove, like spending more time on campus. I want to take advantage of campus. That way I get to be more social, which I have not been very social lately. And tonight I'm going to two and two with everyone. I have not been going out a lot. I'm kind of sick, if you can tell. I just am like kind of out of the beat of like clubbing and stuff. I'm not really craving it at all. So I haven't really been going at all. It's been a long time. So I'm kind of excited. Last time we went to two and two it was also on a Thursday and it was so packed, but it was so much fun. The music was so good. I'm used to, I mean, I like rap a lot, but fun to like bop to some old Rihanna. The ceiling that changes colors is really cool. Next week, I also have a big week, but reading week starts tomorrow. So it's going to be a fun almost week of just working but also chilling not having to go to class or like watch recorded classes and fall is settling in Montreal's turning red it's so pretty I really want to go on the mountain and take advantage of the weather and the sun before she's gone let's go to school in all seriousness this is the fit dad's jacket and then I'm just gonna wear like, my Reebok at least it's not sweatpants like last year let's go mm -hmm. 